Alright, so we're checking out the only game that takes a person with absolutely no driving skill and puts them in charge of a giant, metallic, super fast death rocket. It's Subway Simulator 3D 2019 Christmas Edition. This is one of those games where the title that you see in the game is not the same as the title that's on the Steam store. I'm sure that means that this game is going to be fantastic for us. Just like in Skyrim, you start off as a level one noob. Uh, we don't get to pick a class though. We're just a, like a, a blue collar white male. That's, I can't change this, I don't think. The settings has behavior of passengers. Advanced. Is there like a suicidal option? Because I have a feeling, oh, they're simple. They I get... Oh. How many... <laughs> How many seconds are we into the game so far? <laughs> Alright, well. Um, I, whatever. I made the passenger stupid. There's no way to take them off of stupid, so they're all simple now. What's the difference between passengers that went to higher education and those that didn't? I guess we'll find out. There's a bunch of subway death traps that you can choose from. Some of them enable you to overcompensate more than others. I've noticed two things. The first thing is I'm allowed to look around the uh, the subway, which is pretty neat. The other thing is, is that uh, moving my scroll wheel only moves the subways about a quarter of an inch for an entire turn. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, different subway cars to choose from, but we're going to pick this one because my finger's tired. Also, it's the fastest, so why not? Oh, you can paint this? Oh, that's pretty neat. I want to make it green because you... 150 silver. What the hell? Is silver traditionally the the currency of choice in in subways whatever i you know what i don't do i have 150 silver i don't all right whatever blue it is free ride career passenger uh sure okay i'm somewhat curious right now i'm not gonna sit here and claim to know a lot about subways in fact i don't think i've ever been on a subway in my entire life we have two different types of weather that we can choose from is this super important for us being under the ground. Oh, this is pretty cool. There's like a TV to available at level 60. This is worse than like World of Warcraft. All right, whatever. We're picking this one. Welcome everyone to Subway Simulator 3D, maybe. Where, oh, there's a speed ticket indicator. We're gonna max that out right over here. You're gonna notice our glorious subway right next to it. You're gonna notice a vaguely noose-like wire hanging from the ceiling. What's somewhat concerning is that this is legitimately neck height. So if you were to like run it full speed. Okay, physics work good. There wasn't really a tutorial or anything. So I guess I'm just gonna start clicking on buttons and see what happens. Speed limit 58 kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. There's a lot of friggin' buttons. Okay, yeah, great, great emission control Um, over. I don't know where the break, oh, here it is. And there you go. That's how you do it. I'm not gonna lie. The AI lady that's talking to us is kind of scary. It's like the closest thing I can think of to Skynet as possible. She's just a very passive, not, what is this? 70 kilometers per hour? Oh, we're nowhere near there. It's like the most dismissive, non-emotional woman in the entire universe. What happens if these lights are red? Is there crashes in this game? Emergency stop. Oh, I think I was supposed to stop because... <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> you have to write an explanatory le- Hold on, you can actually write an explanatory letter. If you crash a subway with another subway, this is the only explanation. I have to write an essay about how badly I screwed up. You get a lot of leeway as a subway guy. I'm... A dumb ass. Sorry. Justified. <laughs> the <de> the <laughs> it's the decision of the administration that our cause was justified. Our actions are fine. No, no judicial penalties have been levied. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll try and complete the mission. But no joke. I. 
if, okay, guys, if you're going to school or you're learning how to how to how to do a trade, I would highly look into becoming a subway driver because um, I'm pretty sure people have been brought up on charges for less than that, but you get off on writing a letter in this game. Oh, you can enable Wi-Fi in the cars? Hell yes, everyone needs Wi-Fi. Can you get out while this is in motion? No. Hey, everyone. Yeah, so that last incident, let's go ahead and forget about that. Uh, I got let off with a warning because of my letter. So you guys should feel pretty good. Uh, watch a video to double my gain. What the hell? Is this like fly wings or something? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of our lovely passengers here. Why am I like two feet tall? Are we like the world's first like nine year old subway driver? Also, how come our train has like multiple Sheldons from the Big Bang Theory on it? I have to mention something to you guys. I just hit the pause button. This is the pause screen. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, spy on all of our people here. We have several different monitors with which to use to uh, look and watch as everyone stands eerily still like little statues of sadness, wondering when they're gonna die next. The mood of passengers is 60? Hold on. Where, uh, how about if I turn the Wi-Fi on or off or whatever? I don't know if it's on or off or what. A train talker? <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty realistic. Every time I've ever been on a train or something like that, it's just a bunch of random loud words that I can't decipher. That's a good simulative experience. The thing I'm waiting for, is I feel like the last time there was like a random subway that was in front of us and it never warned me. Or maybe it didn't, I just didn't know where the hell it was supposed to warn me at. This looks important. <laughs> Piss! To your right, you'll notice the beautiful uh, clear blue water and the luscious green landscape. And directly behind me, you'll notice a bunch of really pissed off passengers because all of them just missed their stop. To your right, you'll notice what's probably a competent subway driver, getting everyone to where they need to go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the blue chunklets there on our mini-map are the stopping points. All right, Gray's about to make that fat XP. Here we go, you ready? Uh, yeah. What the hell? What just happened? What did I do? Why am I shorter than normal? I'm even sh I'm stuck. I'm stuck inside of the train tracks. Oh, I've screwed up. I've glitched myself inside of the of, inside of the subway tracks. I didn't mean for this to happen. Hey, kid. Hey, can you just grab my hand? All right, bye. What is everyone running for? Why is everyone running like they stole it? So, um... <clears throat> I think this is, uh... I think this is the end of this attempt. Hey, brother. Listen, um, I'm not just, like, staring at your crotch at purpose. Can you... Can you just, like, just grab... Just grab anywhere. Grab me by the hair. I don't really care. Can you just, like, pull me out of the tracks? Hey, uh, attractive, super short-skirted lady, do you have any- any suggestions for me? She does not. Okay. Let's try a different map. Maybe I won't glitch myself into this- into the- the ground in this one. Uh... All I wanted to do was explore the rest of the map. I will say, in, instead of giving us an invisible wall, they gave us a trespassing ticket and a game over screen. Hey, everyone. Gray still plays back. Don't worry. I went through remedial training, so um, everything should be fine now. Oh, yeah. Oh, we rolling now. We're underwater, I think. I don't even know anymore, but we rocking it and dropping it. Hello there, you bunch of beauties. Guess what? It's Gray Still Plays, best friggin' subway driver in the entire universe. Get in for the ride of your lives. What happens if you stand in the train tracks when the other subway is coming? Do you get hit by it? Oh, it's dragging me. I'm being dragged by the subway. This is interesting. Never mind. I was removed from the line by leaving the working place. God damn, this friggin' explanation letters. To the chief of Subway Simulator 3D, I oversped four- Oh, I'm sorry. I overspeed four times. The cause. Please make this stop, Ray. Signed. Justified. <laughs> I don't think they have an unjustified stamp. I think it's just the same. They only have one stamp, so they just justify everything. Oh, I got an achievement for novice driver. I don't know how, but apparently we're progressing. All right, we're doing free ride mode because I still want to see if I can get hit by a train. All right, well, you guys are all hanging out inside of there. Um, old Gray's got to test something. Electric, how many different ways can you die in this game? 
contacts with high voltage rails may cause immediate death. Okay, so I, you know what? Maybe you can get hit by the subway. So um, you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments section below what your favorite part of the game is so far. It's probably the pause screen, but I'm just, I'm just checking to see what you guys think. Okay, all right, well, Great did it again. I, um, I managed to get out of the subway while it was in motion. That was a bad idea because I've been ejaculated into the stratosphere. Actually, I'm, I'm below the stratosphere. Oh, I get to, we get to observe the entire map from outside of it. Fantastic. Oh, I can walk down here. So, um, if anyone ever wanted to know what a subway map looked like, uh, this is pretty much it. We're going to get the opportunity to explore this entire map from the outside. Is there anything below us? Oh, it's heaven. That must be where we are now. I probably got zapped by the electrics one more time. This is, this is why we're back here. Okay. So I think we've learned that getting out while the, uh, the subway is in motion is a bad idea. So we'll, we'll go to the next stop and I'll try and get out there and get hit by the other subway. It's actually somewhat surprising. The hardest thing to do in this game is to get killed by another subway. You can get electric shocked. You can get fired for speeding. You can get fired for leaving your position. You're trying to get hit by another subway. It takes like an act of freaking Congress. It says I have 47 passengers. Where the hell is everyone at? I stop in these places like a bat out of hell now. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna wait until the other subway comes. And when it does, we'll jump in front of it. Hopefully before we get electrocuted. Here we go. Here we go. I can't stand it anymore! <laughs> it's finally, it's finally complete. Everything, everything I wanted. I think I've gotten almost every game over screen you could possibly get. I do appreciate that there's at least a nice meaty sound when you get whacked by the train. Almost like someone did a sound effect by punching the inside of a chicken carcass or something. So, uh, I guess I'll leave you guys with this screen here. Um, Subway Simulator 3D. I, I guess we did it. I really don't know. I wanted to see if you could get hit by the subway. They legit allow you to get hit by the subway. You can also get shocked, fired, and thrown throughout the entirety of the map. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed Subway Simulator 3D's uh, pause screen. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>